So here's our EZ shortwave receiver that uh, I've been building here lately. It's from a Radio Electronics, I think, in 1991. It's actually been a, a nice little project. Uh, here I have the BFO turned on, and I've got a little slow CW going here. Again, my, my antenna's uh, not a real good one. Um, and there's a lot of uh, interference in this uh, HOA community that I live in, so I don't have the best thing out there. It picks up a lot of uh, power line noise, wireless noise, internal wiring noise, lots of noise. But overall, it does a pretty good job given the environment. So let's see if we can pick up uh, a little AM here. So here we are back on uh, back on AM with the BFO turned off and looks like we're back on WBCQ again. They're playing some kind of ragtime, some kind of old stuff here. It's pretty neat. It's again my antennas. It uh, could be better. There's a bit of fading here. I don't know if the AGC works terribly well in this receiver. It may be that it's doing what it can. This station, uh, this time of day, seems to be fading in and out quite a bit. Victor 78 with uh, their takeoff on Vaughn Monroe's Riders in the Sky, written by Stan Jones. Uh, it, it's Again, I'm thinking about doing some band switching on, on this receiver uh, to give me some of the uh, uh, the upper bands, you know, 9, 10 megahertz somewhere in there, along with the, uh, the 7 megahertz 40 meter band. This is a pretty nice station. I, I enjoy listening to this. They really have a nice variety. Alright, well, I think that's probably what we're going to get tonight. So, uh, thanks for watching.